Hey everybody, I'm Sue. Thanks for joining me today. And this video is gonna be a little bit of a product review. I had picked up on one of my trips a neat little thing I wanna try. And it is the New Wave Fine Art Products uh, Expressionist Confidant Studio Palette. And it is curvy and it's designed ergonomically. So I've heard good things about it. I know that a lot of artists, you know, if you're if you're holding your uh, your palette, you don't want it to get heavy. And, and the neat thing is, it has this neat little curve, so it rests perfectly in your arm. So let's go ahead and get this out and see what this is all about. What do you say? All right. So again, we're gonna jump into this, and if you're here, it's because you like to look at really fun art stuff, product reviews such as this one, perhaps demos little tips on anything painting, then you're here and you came to the right place. So thanks for being here. And if you're my subscribers, thanks. If you're not, consider subscribing. You can do that right now, right here. There's that little owl icon. Go ahead and smack that. And we'll go ahead and get started in today's review of the New Wave Artist Palette. Okay, I got it out of the, the casing, the uh, packaging. It is super smooth, and these, even the edges are nicely tapered. It, um, the thumb hole has a really nice, smooth tapering here. Interesting enough, I found that they did have these for both left and right-handed people, um, predominantly right-handed, and you can see it fits right perfectly like this, and so it's nice because you'll be able to have the weight is supported right here. Um, you have a large mixing arena. You can see, you can go ahead and put all your colors right out like this, right across. You have this whole area for mixing. Um, I imagine you can get, um, you know, a little cup, something like this to hold your mediums. You can pop that right up on the top like this if you're painting, so you have it right here. This is very, very nice. Um, yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna start another a little painting today. That's gonna be a whole nother video, but perhaps I can show you the color mixing process on you know how to do this. It did come with an interesting little set of an I like a story and instructions on how this works. Um, the new wave, and I'll share this with you guys too. Just you know the little and you know basic proper care of this palette and uh, the story behind how it was made. And uh, yeah, so I'll include that here in the video. But let's see how we do with mixing paint here. Let's try it. Okay, I am actually going to be mixing a palette for a portrait. And I am going to use basically a Zorn palette. So I'm just gonna keep it simple for the sake of demonstration for this uh, beautiful new palette that I have here. So I have Ivory Black, titanium white, yellow ochre, and cadmium red medium. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix some colors and see how this feels. I am uh, uh, gonna mix a couple grays here so I can make my uh, tones. And I'm just gonna have these here. It does say on the this particular palette to be very careful about scratching the surface with uh, paint palettes, I mean palette knives. And I'm taking that to mean, you know, they don't really don't recommend that you use it to scrape the surfaces. But I am just uh, mixing a, a few little colors here. Just to have something to go by. We've got a nice two nice grays. And I'm already going to need more titanium white, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and try to mix. So this, so obviously this mixes really nicely. It's a nice surface to mix on. You know, I, I, I got this mainly for pa um, portrait work or some of my larger pieces that I paint because sometimes a stationary palette is not ideal um, for me to work with so you know I just wanted to try to mix some of these colors and see how they work I'm gonna mix a little bit here make my first tint so 
so this portrait I'm going to be doing is of uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. So yeah, no pressure there. Okay, I'm gonna get some more tints going on here. I'm gonna give myself enough room here. It's funny, when I teach my uh, class, on uh, Zorn palette. I usually have my palette a lot more organized <laughs> than what I have here. Funny, right? Do as I, it's definitely a case of do as I say, not as I do. And I'm just making, so I got my tints here of my three colors. Um, my photo reference that I'm working from actually has a lot of more of the orangey color. So obviously I'll be going with more of this color, but this is really for the demonstration, just showing you how I'm mixing my palette. I'm going to go ahead and make my first, um, tint, I mean, a uh, tone. Of my yellow ochre. It'll be interesting to see how this this palette performs over time. That's pretty acceptable. And there's my CAD. And it looks like I need some more of this gray, so we're just going to go ahead and make some more gray. This surface does feel a little itchy, like scratchy. I don't know how else to describe it. So, uh, you know, keep in mind, I'm used to painting on, uh, I like to use disposable palettes. So after I'm done painting today, this will be cleaned off. I can't rely on coming back to this particular palette, you know, each time, It's because otherwise it will I would probably make this a mess. And if you if <laughs> if you know me and you saw my other palettes that are wooden, you'll understand why I generally don't order um, wooden palettes. But this one, this this whole ergonomic part is really what intrigued me. All right, going making my uh, second tone. because mixing paint can be really boring to watch, almost as fascinating as watching it dry. I decided just to go ahead and uh, speed this up for you, but I'm just mixing my uh, tints, tones, and shades using the Zorn palette. And it's neat how you can get such an array of flesh tones just using those four simple colors. collection of colors here and yeah it mixes well on this palette okay now I'm, I'm in my usual setup for painting I'm always pretty much stand I've got my substrate here I've got my photo reference and obviously I have my uh, palette and colors all right here it's very handy you can see I've got you know if I needed to hold my brushes I can have you know a whole a handful of brushes ready to roll I like painting on large palettes like this, especially if I'm doing a really large piece and requires me to move around. If I'm doing one of these, you know, these five foot by six foot canvases, having a small stationary palette is, it doesn't work for me because I do have to move around and I don't want to have to grab color over here and come over here to paint. So this right here, even though I'm doing this mainly just to show you the dip for demonstration purposes, 
uh, I'm doing a small piece. Generally, I probably wouldn't work, work with a palette this large for a small piece, but I have to say so far, my experience with this has been pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I am just gonna go ahead and try to put a couple little strokes down just to see how, um, I just wanna start getting my piece a little bit warmed up, so to speak. I'm just trying to, uh, so yeah, I know you can't you can't see it on that end, but um, yeah, this this works nicely so far. I can say that I'm probably going to like this just fine. And um, again, the piece that I'm working on was inspired by the fact that um, you know I'm not a very political person, but the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you and the all this the. Um, programs that you're seeing now depicting her life just really kind of made me want to know her more. Um, you know, I just never really got involved with, like I said, I'm not a political individual, but it just, I have a feeling she was a really neat lady and I would have liked to have known her. But yes, this is what we're working on today. So, so far, I'm going to uh, give uh, this uh, new wave painting palette the a thumbs up see right there it's my thumb <laughs> I'll give it a thumbs up but I'll, I'll be able to talk a little bit more into the piece okay so stay tuned okay so I'm already on another piece since I started the uh, Ruth Bader piece uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and I am actually on another piece and this one is a this is a southern ground hornbill okay and every time, every now and then when I'm getting into a piece where I'm doing lots and lots of um, flesh tones, I crave color and so I jump on this. And this will be another YouTube video coming up. But as for the New Wave um, palette, of course, I'm just doing a background and I know that I will wash this palette off before I'm done today. Because <laughs> like normally I would. Normally I'm going to have this thing sitting around for days until a piece is finished and it dries out. But as you can see, I can really tuck this in on my hip. And this is a little bit of a larger piece. And because it is, I'm going to be moving around and doing this and painting the sides. And that helps to have a more mobile easel. And because I can tuck this in right on my hip, I've got it resting on my arm here, see? And then I have it tucked in right here where this little, gir this little curve is. Um, kind of rest right on my hip, but right almost on my, where my belt is, you know, on my hip. But anyway, it is super, super fantastic to be able to have that type of, um, I don't know, an ergonomic palette that just feels nice. It just feels nice. And I am doing a really wild and colorful <laughs> background. So when this happens, when I am doing a piece like this, it's all about color. I just go all out with the color. So, um, and it does help to have big brushes and big palettes. And I can super, super spread out onto my um, piece. And this just makes it fun. But I just wanted to show you the, the, the actual palette in uh, action. <laughs> it's a, an amazing, it, it is. It's definitely getting a lot of thumbs up with me because I have so many thumbs. Oh yeah, I get excited when I get into some color like this. I guess you can see, right? It's a very colorful piece. Lots of fun, fun. I've got purples and blues and oranges and turquoise and cadmium green is going in here. It's like, you know I'm starving for color when I <laughs> too many portraits and actually I have all these commission pieces I'm supposed to these uh, more portraits that I need to get to and honestly you know they have deadlines but yet for my sanity I just have to take a break and uh, work on this one 
but uh, yeah. you can see though you can see it's just sitting right here tight on my hip and it does make a really good palette and really even though I was showing you on the Ruth Bader Ginsburg piece that I was using it, I went ahead and I mixed my uh, Zorn palette on it, yada yada. For a smaller piece, I probably would not recommend this big one. Um, they do make different sizes, but I generally don't hold my palettes when I'm working if I'm doing smaller pieces. Again, for me, it's more about um, having, having the palette and the freedom to move around with a larger piece. And that's what I really, really do enjoy about um, having a mobile, large mobile easel like this. So, or a mobile palette, excuse me. So yeah, there you have it. That's it in a nutshell, folks. This is a pretty fab little palette, and I would definitely recommend it. I'll go ahead and leave the link um, in the um, in the comment section. No, in the description. I'll leave a link in the description as the for the new wave um, palette and let you check out where you can get one of your own. And uh, yeah, this is pretty nifty. And if you have any questions about anything about the palette or about my work and you know what I like or don't like I think I kind of told you what I like about it if there's any questions that you have whatsoever just go ahead and leave it in the comment section if there's like a suggestion of something maybe a perhaps a product that you would like me to review yeah leave it in the comment section let me know and uh, yeah okay now I had done a painting I uh, completed now I will say now this is clean, I just cleaned it. And there are instructions that come with this particular palette. One of the things they do not recommend is using um, paint scrapers. But of course, <laughs> me being me and being super lazy, I don't, I don't, um, I don't mix my palette every time. If it takes me two days, to complete a piece or three days to complete a piece and I go through the trouble of doing the complete mixture of you know doing all my color mixing for a palette I'm not going to scrape it off every time and redo it every day so of course I let the paint sit for like three days on this palette and um, so I just kind of used my palette knife to scrape off the excess paint off the palette. And I would be lying to you if I said that I didn't actually use a paint scraper. I had to use one of my paint scrapers. And yeah, you're gonna get it like scratched up. I don't know if you can see, but there's like little tiny scratches probably in the surface that might affect this palette in the future as far as cleaning it. I, I don't know, I, I still have to have to see, but it did clean off better than I thought. and I used a little bit of just odorless paint thinner and wiped it down a little bit and ah, you know what it's actually cleaner than most of my wood palettes I, do, I will say that this is going to be an amazing palette to use because it's so ergonomically designed especially when I'm doing large pieces I, I would say that for small pieces a stationary palette you know the way I normally paint is probably the way I would go but this will come in handy for some of my larger pieces because of the way I move around. It's nice to have your paint with you when you move. Uh, my whole uh, opinion about the, this is the New Wave um, Artist palette, I would definitely say that this was, yeah, it was a good experience. I would recommend this to anybody wanting to do, especially if you're doing larger works and because of the ergonomic design, you have a little bit less fatigue. You know, it sets, for me, it sets right up here in the crook. And let me see if I can bring this camera down just a little bit. So when I'm painting, it's it sits right like this. And it has this scoop out here. So you can place it against your hip or your, you know, this part of your body. So if you're like me and you want to keep it, you know, close to this way. But I will say one thing. 
being female, we have a little bit of an anatomy issue here. So if you're, <laughs> you know, you don't want that to get in the way because you, you're gonna not have this area to mix. Um, I guess you can carry it a little bit lower or just not carry, you know, just carry. Yeah, you're gonna carry it just like this because this is how it's designed. But um, yeah, it, it works really well. You can just have your major mix, you know, your, your squirt, you know, your, you squirt out your paint up here. You do all your mixing in this area here. And if you move around a lot like I do when I paint, this is going to be, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. It's going to be actually a pretty good, a pretty good deal. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and definitely recommend the new Wave Artist Palette for anybody who is, you know, needing, who likes the wood palettes and likes to be mobile when you paint. So there you go, thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you did like watching this particular product review, then perhaps you would like to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and give me a thumbs up if you will. And again, till the next time we have something to review or something to paint, I'll see you from my studio in Kingsport, Tennessee. Bye.